I'm from Australia. Um, I, I'm actually from one of the biggest Irish Catholic families in Australia. My grandma is still alive. She's 94. She had nine children. Those nine children gave her 40 grandchildren, of which I'm one. And so far, we've given her 87 great-grandchildren. No, 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 please don't applaud that. It's revolting. We're, we're like a tumour. We have to have a family reunion every two years just to ward against incest. Uh, We all meet in a park and have a good long look at each other for our genetic safety. And, and we make mental notes, never, ever, 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 ever have sex with anyone else in this park, ever. And Montreal, if you could see some of the people in the park, it's not a big imposition. Uh, and I've got a really, really scary Irish Catholic mother. I've got a dad too, I just don't talk about him much in my acts because he's nice. Uh, he's, but he's the background dad, like he's not in charge of any of the arrangements whatsoever. He basically, he just turns up and parks the car, right? Uh, there's seven of us, right? He's never rung any, oh no, that's not true. He did ring me once, 10 years ago. I've never forgotten it. Like, my husband came out the backyard and he said, Fiona, your dad's on the phone. And I'm like, oh, mum's dead. You know, that just... <laughs> You know, I'm not helping. I've got five children. You know, I, I couldn't tell you all their names off the top of my head right now because I drink like a fish. But uh, <laughs> it's an awful lot of kids, isn't it, in this day and age, five kids? Yeah, but we're committed. We're going to keep trying till we get one we like. And <laughs> five cesareans, too. The scar's so long, I'm nearly a flip top. But that's a bit hideous. Uh, I'm not the best of mothers. I love smoking. I love cigarettes. I'd eat them if I could. I, I'm, they're not long enough, are they? Uh, having said that, though, I never, ever, ever smoke inside with the children, ever. Um, if I need a cigarette, they have to go out. Um, <laughs> I don't think you can be fairer than that if you paid for the house. Uh, and as I said, I also drink a lot. I actually drank and smoked when I was pregnant. And I'm not proud of that, and I'm not advocating that, but uh, I've got an excuse. Uh, when we had the oldest, it was a long time ago, um, he'll be 21 this year. Michael, that's his name, right? I, I was so... We weren't as aware of the dangers, you know, back then, you know, to how very dangerous that can be to drink alcohol and smoke cigarettes. When you, and I, I was just so excited to be pregnant, I got loaded. And then, um, <laughs> and then I read the pregnancy manual. I'm like, oh dear. And I rang my mum and I said, don't knit sleeves. <laughs> smoked with the other four, not because I wanted to, ladies and gentlemen, I just thought, well, well it wouldn't be fair. You could have one idiot and four clever ones, and that's not good parenting. Um, I'm also, well, I'll tell you this, I, I'm one of the laziest people I know, really, I am. I'm one of the laziest housewives you'll ever meet. I don't do any housework at all between the hours of nine and four, because I don't see the point if I don't have an audience, right? So, come five o'clock, I just plug anything in that fits a socket and makes a noise, you know, and it's a whirl of activity. Uh, and here's a tip, I, 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 I've got a tip for you. If there's any young wives in the audience, I've been doing this for 24 years. Uh, at about six o'clock, I like to uh, just fry a little bit of onion and garlic in a pan with, a, with about a tablespoon of butter. <laughs> And the thing is, they all walk in and they smell it and they think something's happening. <laughs> Dickheads, nothing's happening. It, it just lifts the mood of the house temporarily and <laughs> frees me up for a bit more gin and tonic. Um, but I'm not all bad. I really am not all bad. I've got a favourite <laughs> child. That's nice, isn't it? No, that freaks people out because mothers have this policy line, you know, we don't have any favourites, we love you all the same. Oh, my God. That's 
not actually true. Um, you yeah, we all think your know, mothers just love all their children unconditionally and they're perfect. One of mine's got such a weak chin, I can barely look at him. We call him Mr. Burns. Uh, but, but, you know, the policy line that mothers have, we love you all the same. Uh, we don't have any favourites. And say your mum said that to you. So, you know, she said to you that she didn't have any favourites. Right to you, right? She didn't have any favourites. She loved you all the same. Well, that was very sweet of her. It didn't really mean she didn't have any favourites. It pretty much just meant you weren't it. And I... <laughs> Thank you so much for having me, Montreal. Good night. Thank you, Fiona. Funny. Fiona Alopla. Yeah. Hey, what one of the hot... Fiona! Five, five, five big ones. That's that. Thank you. One of the hottest tickets.